Uh, my name is Daniel Linehan, and we're in the dressing room at the uh, Theater Imca, um, where I performed tonight. This is not about everything. 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 I mean, the, the little circle of books that I put around myself mm -hmm. for me represents the world somehow. Like, mm -hmm. it's just, it's only eight books, but I, I, I didn't want to just put an app. Basically, I need something around myself in order not to, like, go everywhere all over the okay. stage to stay centered. But I didn't want to just put an abstract circle around myself. I wanted it to represent something. And for me, it represents the world. It's just different idea of uh, books, uh, newspapers, just uh, things from the world that have influenced me and... Um, I don't know. I, I think uh, in making the piece it was very personal, like my feeling of craziness, mm -hmm. but I think it's also a good interpretation that people have that it's not just about me, but it's about <laughs> the craziness yeah. of the world too. I'm not yeah. the only one who feels crazy. Yeah. It's not about what is happening right now. This is not about what it means for something to be about something. This is not about the question of, well, what in the fuck is this thing about then, Daniel? I mean, uh, in, in the performance, it's a lot about negating or saying no to, like, this is not about this, but this is not about this. But then, like, because I'm using language, the, the act of saying it's not about these things brings these ideas into the audience's head. Uh, and so in some way, it becomes about them. And I think one of my questions, uh, uh, while I was making the piece, I mean, there, there's a slightly, like, I mentioned a few, like, political things. Uh, I mentioned a few st silly things. I mentioned like a, a lot of things that the piece is not about, uh, and somehow it's like it's like um, uh, it's like I wanted to make a piece about all these things, and I didn't know how. Mm -hmm. So the only way I could do it is by speaking about it. And uh, um, yeah, I need someone to take this for me and send it in the mail after the performance is over. <laughs> I think writing a check is a pretty limited action, and so is spinning. I only do limited <coughs> actions. Somehow I want to be more bold, but there are so many questions. Why should I write a check? Why should there be action rather than inaction? The obvious question is, what should I do? <coughs> But at some point, I realized that the word should had a moral implication, and my gut reaction was that any moral inclination should have no place in art. No, well, every once in a while I make a few changes. Uh, almost all of it stays the same. Um, otherwise, it'd be hard to remember. I mean, it took me months and months just to remember it all, so I can't change, I can't change very much. But sometimes, like, some of the... Some of the current events, like I mentioned, um, I don't know, I mentioned Iraq, Afghanistan. I mean, these somehow are less current than they were a few years ago, but they're still a little current. And then there's other things, like I used to mention, uh, I don't know, I don't remember, but like, so, uh, oh, I, me I mentioned like Haiti when there was the Haitian earthquake and it was big in the news. Like, I kind of mentioned things that are in the people's consciousness. Um, but that's like eight or so words that I've changed depending on what the current news is that might be in people's consciousness. The solo that I performed tonight, there's this relationship where because I'm exhausted from spinning, it affects the quality of my voice. But I'm interested, this is like the one relationship that happens in, in this piece, but in, in my new piece, I want to kind of research that more and find several different relationships between body and voice, not just exhaustion, but like, I mean, a simple one is like shaking changes the quality of your voice. And, uh,
Well, there were the ones I said in my performance, like, I don't think they're stupid questions, but like people will ask, um, how did you do that um, without getting dizzy or something. Mm -hmm. um, so they focus on the physical thing. Yeah, which uh, I think, I don't know, I, I kind of make fun of it in the performance, but I also, in reality, I think it is part of the piece. I mean, there's the, there's the ideas and then there's the physicality, but mm -hmm. the piece is both, like, if people are focusing on the physical aspect of it, that's fine. But uh, that was kind of, uh, when I got that feedback was especially at an earlier stage in the piece. And so I asked myself, how can I make, um, how can I make the idea stronger? Mm -hmm. I mean, I wanted to keep the physicality strong, but I wanted to make the idea stronger. So, uh, I mean, one of the ways I did that was by talking about the fact that I wanted to make the idea stronger. And I think that through language, um, I helped develop the ideas.